Tinder is a transformative technology and it's radically underestimated yeah. in terms of its potency because it produces hyper successful predatory males and reduces rejection. It eliminates rejection because, I mean, you can be totally rejected, in which case you're a failure on Tinder. But in normal pre-mating interaction, let's say, there's a high probability of rejection, especially on the part of males. So there's there's research basically showing that so on Tinder, uh, women are they they like, you know, swipe right. They like the profiles of only four percent of the men that they right. see on the app, whereas for for uh, men, when they see female profiles, they swipe right or like uh, more than 60 percent. That's six zero, 60 percent of the profiles they right. see. So that's so really worth concentrating on because that's a great example of hypergamy. Mm. Right. So women mate across and up success hierarchies and men right. mate across and down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right the women like men who are about four years older cross-culturally they like men who manifest signs of success as well as being handsome right. and personable and all of that and the reason for that as far as i can tell is that they're looking to equalize the economic disparity that exists because women take a harder hit from sex and pregnancy than men so they're looking right. to equalize that. And no wonder they're looking for someone who's competent. This is for long-term mating, who's competent and generous. 